What is up, players? It's Warboss Tab in this mug right off the bat. If you are interested in this figure, then the Supreme Arena Mistress Maivia is available for purchase. The link is down below in the description. It will take you to the Artel W Miniatures website where you can order one for yourself. It's only $21.99 American, and uh, I am an affiliate of this company. So if you do decide to purchase this model, then you will be helping out my studio. I will be earning a small commission. Thanks for watching. Now let's get on with the tutorial. What is up, players? It's Warboss Tail in this mug. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to paint orc skin. That's right. Sometimes you want to paint some orcs, which is what I want to do now. So I'm going to be using only two colors. This is a quick and easy painting guide. I'm sorry, I still got some texture paint on my hand there. Don't worry, you're not going to be looking at my fingers for very long. I'm going to show you the two paints you need. BL Tan Green and Plague Bearer Flesh from Contrast and Shade. Now, because these, uh, you're going to be going from this contrast to the shade color, you do want to be waiting long enough that uh, you don't paint the Beeltan, Beeltan, the Beeltan green on while this plague bearer flesh is still drying. Uh, but if you do apply this, uh, you, you're going to notice that it's got a great, great greenish yellow base color is perfect for painting orcs. I've always been a proponent of not using contrast paints. I think uh, as long as I can remember, as soon as they announced the contrast range, I thought uh, this is not something I ever want to do. It felt like cheating. It felt like I could always see the, the, the white of the undercoat underneath. Oh, that's another thing, folks. If you decide to do this method, you want to use it on a white primed miniature orc. Uh, so either prime your model in whatever color you're going to use, like gray or black, and then um, prime the skin white using an airbrush, or uh, do what I do and just um, prime your miniature in, uh, what was it, gray sear. A gray sear, Corax white, uh, all of those are good colors. You don't want to go into the ivory tones, the yellowish tones, like uh, wraith bone. That is not going to be... Uh, good for your orc skin, but these other primer colors are perfect. All right, so now we're going to just let this, you, you want to make sure you have your model uh, on some kind of handle that you can turn and check all the different angles because the last thing you need is for this contrast paint, this step to uh, get finished and to dry and then realize that you've left huge swaths of unpainted skin on your miniature. All right, so I'm gonna set this down and um, we'll come back to it in just a little bit. And um, don't forget, when you're also using contrast paint, you could, if you chose to use a, uh, a hair dryer to speed up this process, I'm gonna let it dry naturally and then we're gonna come back with the BL10 green. All right, now that we've had some time for that plague bearer flesh to dry, and I, you can see I've also uh, put down the colors, base coats and washes for our little orky here, we're gonna go on and add BL Tan Green, which is a terrific color to layer on top of that contrast color plague bearer flesh. So we're just gonna add it to all of the areas and uh, don't worry if you start to find yourself moving into uh, areas of the cloth or like in his face, in his eye, anywhere that you think it's not supposed to go. The great thing about this paint or the shade is that you can move it around really easily. It goes really well. And yeah, like I said, it pops off of that plague bearer flesh. So. As someone who was never very comfortable painting with contrast paints, I think this is a recipe that anyone can do. And if you're uh, getting into orcs and goblins or space orcs, 40K, whatever you want, uh, AOS, the Oryx, I think they would have a little bit more of a, of a muted Oryx shade to their skin. But I think for most of the other orc species, this is a good, 
vibrant, colorful green that you can do in literally only two colors and spend the rest of your time at your painting table working on the rest of this model. On these larger muscle areas, like the shoulder or the hand, you do want to get a little bit more of that Beale Tan Green shade laid down. Just, just to give it some depth to those shadows. Uh, you don't want to put too much though, so that it pools in any ugly, ugly way. Like here, his eye socket, it's so sunken in, it's hard to see, but there is uh, a little bit of a danger that if you put it in there too much, you just pull it and let too much of this shade get in there that is going to uh, flood and uh, obscure the detail for the eyeball. Which is pretty far set in there, if you can see. We don't want to sacrifice the detail of that eyeball for the ease of putting this down. I'm just gonna do one, sh one uh, coat. I don't think it needs more than that. Now, if you wanted to come back and further the look of the green skin and make it less of that contrasty, uh, seeing the, the green tones over a pale ivory effect, then uh, by all means come back with a warp stone glow or a war boss tay green and just add some color in. But I really, really like how this uh, BL10 green enhances the look of the Plague Bear flesh. So that's all I'm gonna do with this figure. Hey guys, if you enjoyed watching me paint up this orc, this unfortunate orc victim, then, uh, not victim I guess, but uh, challenger, then this is from the uh, uh, Supreme Arena Mistress La Evia from the Artel W Miniatures line. It is an absolutely terrific figure and it only cost me $22. It only cost $22 American to purchase this model. It's in resin and uh, you can see it beautifully captures the uh, fate of this poor orc. Just got to color some silver onto that knife popping through his neck and then I've got some bright uh, blood effect coming in the mail later this week so I'll show you what that looks like on the channel as well. Hey thanks for watching everybody. Uh, like I said the Supreme Arena Mistress Maivia will be down in the link. It'll take you right to the Artel W Miniatures website so that you can check it out for yourself. If you do decide to purchase this model then uh, I am an affiliate with this company so I will be getting a, a little bit of a commission for that and I thank you for your support in that case and uh, if not, I hope you enjoyed this little how to paint orc skin tutorial. Uh, cheat guide using only, only two colors. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. Ah, I have a headache. Me head hurts. Urgh.